Hey you guys, welcome back. I'm Rena Wells. I'm your medicine woman, highly intuitive. I have all the clairs, all the abilities. Um, I work with plant medicine very closely, especially with psychedelics. And I'm here to help you guys with your natural abilities, those that are on a very high level soul mate connection, twin flame connection, and to get you guys deeper into your intuitive gifts to know your empathic gifts, your visions, the inside world, as opposed to working with the exterior. So if that's something that you're interested in, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, take a look around, and to my returning subscribers, you know, I love you guys so dearly. Thank you for all your support since I've started this channel and following me and for all the amazing clients that I meet the powerful clients that I meet and who end up working with me. It's truly a blessing to do this work for you. So if you guys want to know anything else, all my info is down below. I am doing readings again. I do coaching, which is very different than a reading. And yeah, if you want to email me and know more about my services and how maybe we can work together or how I can help you with your internal world and your visions and your sensitivity, let me know. Okay, guys. I'm going to be talking today about the mirror between twin flames and high level soulmates. And I do say twin flames a lot. That's only because I am on a twin flame journey. I did. I have met my twin. Ayahuasca brought us together in a very profound way. And I've been on this twin flame journey my entire life. So I highly suggest going and listening to the other uh, channels in the playlist of the new leaders of this world and take a look around because um, my experience has been one of a, pro a very profound experience. Not that nobody else has profound experiences, but my I know for me and my journey, it's been one of the most profound. I, I would have to say when I met my twin, pretty much it felt like I met God. And that's just a, how profound it was. So I want to talk about how it's taken me a long time to be able to learn more about the internal mirroring effect of what happens. And when I talk about energy and things like that, I'm really talking about the gut feeling, the instincts, the knowing, the sensations that take us out of the mind, out of the logical rationale. We are beings here, especially if you're on a twin flame journey, that you, you don't come from the earth plane. And Spirit is bringing this up to talk about this, that we must realize that the detachment from our temples, from our earth suits, is not in a sense that you don't honor your earth suit or you don't honor your human psyche or you don't honor the human experience. It's quite the opposite. We don't identify with the human experience in a sense of who we are and how we've come to know who we are because if we become attached to our earth suits and we become attached to the the bodies and the human rationale which is where most of human consciousness is at remember you know one percent rule the world right that are at the very high at the top of the pyramid scheme let's just say it like that the entire world and society is in a pyramid scheme and there's one percent that run that and then we have 5% that are true healers, real healers, not people that are dabbling and just discovering like real actual healers, like twin flames, who and high level soulmates that are here to catalyze and bring massive amounts of change. And then there are other ones uh, that are 94%, which are unawakened, unconscious, or who are just starting to awaken. So try and see where you know where you fit in that spectrum being part of the 5% is not an easy task because you're going up against the 1% that rule the world and keep that sustainability of society intact, population control, all those other things, which we're not going to get into that, but that's a whole other, you know, a lot of conspiracy theories sit in there and you've got to take everything with a grain of salt. And then there's, you know, the 94% that are, you know, just not on the same uh, level as awakening as the 5%. So discernment and knowing your internal world, especially if you're on a sacred journey of union, is very important because you have to learn how to keep your internal world very pure. It means that your frequency is higher, especially if you're a twin flame, right? And you're on a sacred path. Your intuition is dead on. Your empathic abilities will be at like next level. 
everything that you know, the rain just started, so everything that you know that you have been taught in this 3D world will become in a place of detachment. And so when our twin flames become in connection with a karmic partner, now karmic partner is not bad, right? Karma is not good or bad. Karma is like law of attraction. And it cycles. It's a cycle of energy. And we see cycles in everything in our life. So, you know, if your person is with a karmic partner, it means, it doesn't mean that person is evil. It means that there's unfinished healing that needs to be done before you can step into a divine connection. Because you cannot take the human psyche rationale, the energies that come from human psyche rationale, energies that come from lower frequencies, especially if you house the energy of sacred union within yourself. If you are on a twin flame journey or high level soulmate journey, you you hold a higher frequency than what most people do on this planet. And that's just that's just the basis of it. There are only 144,000 twins that are here. Not everybody. Yeah, thank you. Spirit is saying everyone's made with a twin flame. But our world would not be able to handle and sustain that type of divinity. It would be utterly catastrophe. Remember, creator force energy is not just love and light and, and beautiful, oh, la, 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 harmonious energy. It's destructive, right? It is the destruction of old foundations to create more. You can't have uh, creativity without destruction. You can't have... Uh, things falling down like the tower moment in order to build new things are constantly changing and we see that in nature there's destruct natural destruction destruction in nature the four seasons for instance you know the leaves die they fall away that the spring comes back like this is something that as humans we try to rationalize it but it makes it very difficult and this is why i work very deeply with those that are highly sensitive because it's an entirely different way of knowing yourself and so if you're on this twin flame journey this takes you to the depths of your inside world and you have met your twin because it is time to drudge up all of those subconscious patterns now carl Jung, i love psychology okay i love philosophy so i follow different philosophers i read a lot about the psycho psychological aspects of the mind and how they relate to spirit I'm very well versed in a lot of different things. So I want you guys to realize like, yeah, I'm quotation mark woo woo, but I'm also very grounded in my logic and my facts and my science. And I've always been that way. I love biology. I love chemistry. I love physics. I love history. I love mathematics. I love, uh, you know, the arts. I, I have not very well rounded and well versed in many things. I get that from my father. My father's a very intelligent man. And all of these different aspects, right, in how you ground yourself is very important. Yes, the energy is very important. Yes, the woo-woo stuff, the mystical stuff is very important. But we, as a human race, especially if you're on this twin flame journey, have to find grounding facts in order to bring down such a high vibration. Unfortunately, we live in a society that has systems, structures, government, uh, a way of living, a way of exchanging energy through monetary funds, we have to discover a way and how to bring such a high vibration down into this 3D world. And so if you can picture that, that's like a pillar of, of light that you are exuding from the highest of the heavens and down into the depths of your own subconscious. That is the, ex the expansiveness of Twin Flame Union. Okay? Again, from the highest of the realms that you can go as high to God to source down to the depths of where the underworld is into the subconscious, right? And the underworld is not necessarily dark. Yes, there are people that do dark magic. Yes, there is evil in this world. But remember, we have to have balance in the universe that everything is of in contrast. You cannot have divine light without having pure sinister evil. And unfortunately, that is a reality that most people in the new age community do not want to look at experience dive into or use it as leverage to move them into their highest potential because that's all it's there for especially if you're on the twin flame journey you have to go into those pits those places of hell those pits of hell right you are going to have a lot of uh, psychic attacks you're going to have 
dark things come to you because twins hold a, the highest vibration that you can in this universe for union, for sacred union, right? It's a different caliber of frequency. It's totally what my twin would say, next level. It's a, this is a next level connection, right? And to be ready for that, you have to be purified. So Spirit's bringing up that that was a little bit of an introduction of what this mirror effect is. And unfortunately, we can't logically understand the mirror effect to its full extent. We can rationalize it and look at it. But remember, it is subconscious energy that is coming up in your mirrored effect. So it's going to be from a place of empathy and feeling and emotion. Okay, it's going to be tapping into your intuitive side through your feeling and through your emotion. So let's back this up a little bit. Let's go into a situation where you can conjure up a situation to take you back into a certain emotion, right? And I do this with my clients. So you can think of a happy, a really happy event and just breathe, breathe through your body, recall the memory of a very happy, harmonious moment and allow the emotion to filtrate your entire body so much so that the thought that you don't have to think about the event anymore and if you practice this it will start to ignite your empathic abilities in your natural feeling place so much so that you don't have to think about the event anymore because remember this is how the I'll, I'll tell you how the human psyche has been developed this also comes from guys like 30 years I have studied psychology, okay, because of my own trauma, <laughs> okay, so this is not something that I have pulled out my butt, I know about R, like SSRI and chemical receptors, I know about the peptides, I know about, oh, I know a lot of different things that psychologists know, okay, I've had some very decent talks with uh, P doctors, PhD in psychology, and I can talk, my, I, I can talk at their level okay so i don't want you guys to re i want you guys to realize how grounded i really am in this work okay in comparison to what other people really know on this twin flame journey all right because i've had to go through the brunt of the psychological world and the mental illness industry and no different medications i know all of the different labels of autism and add and and bipolar and I, i've researched everything histronic dis uh, personality disorder everything because of where i came from right so um yeah and in regards to that uh we have to look at the psychological aspects in in full detail because this connection is not going to be anything that we can think about and so if you're thinking about let's go back to that you're thinking about uh an event a good event that brings that conjures up an emotion remember your mind is the reference library so it's all it's just the reference library that's it your your mind does not have the intelligence does not house um thank you spirit it houses intelligence but it cannot be accessed in the way that humans are currently doing it okay the the key that unlocks the higher realms of intelligence does not come in the way that humans are currently working Yes, we have gotten very detailed and scientific, but we have gone so right wing or left wing or however, so in one sector, a narrow path down that road of discovery that we have eliminated all other versions of intelligence, okay? The Lumerians and the Atlanteans talked in the sense of image and intuition, and that comes from conjuring up. It's a new key of intelligence. That, and this is something that I've discovered. It's how I've operated my entire life because I could not get that detailed. So, for instance, I can't give change. <laughs> okay? I can't give change. I don't know. Adding and subtracting, I can't do in my head. But I can do calculus. So, figure that out. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. When you think about those events, right? It's sort of taking me back. Um, to unlock this aspect of the higher realms of intelligence comes from a place of empath empathic ability that derives from the subconscious. And we're going to go into, into, the, into the mirror effect because in the depths of your subconscious is where you are mirroring your twin flame. And again, this can't be logically explained. So whenever you are thinking of an event, a thought that is pulled up 
right? If that is the first point of action, point one, the first point of action is a thought. And when you think of a thought, it then, think of it as a flow chart. <laughs> a thought, and then you have the arrow pointing to an emotion. Then you have an emotion. Then you will have a chemical response to an emotion based on the thought process uh, that you're conjuring up. Your body will respond to your thought and produce the proper chemicals based on that thought to create the emotion, emotional experience to remember and to reinforce that thought. That is where belief systems, uh, perversions, uh, disorders, coping mechanisms, that, that's where people get stuck in because the peptides and the chemical reactions in your brain about your belief systems of love and everything else are so formulated in that aspect of recalling a thought that then attaches to an emotion. And most humans are stuck in that emotional realm believing that that's the truth right but it's not that's not the truth the subconscious patterns that you are unaware of okay is where energies play into dark energy and light energy they play into your empathic energy field that we don't become aware of that until we awaken to it and that's what carl Jung says it's to make the unconscious conscious Right, so that you know what's actually running through your empathic energy body within yourself. And so this is what I tell my clients, if you can practice, you know, if you become aware that thought then takes you to emotion is always going to be a chemical reaction within your body, it will always be an egoic response. Okay, that's not how God works. All right. The way that God works with true emotion, with true purity of your soul expression is always going to be at a place without thought. The mind must be completely silent. This is why, you know, we do different practices is to how to own, hone, not own, hone that ability of forgoing the mind and working fully from the intuition. Now, this is what I have been doing my whole life. So this is how I know I can speak to this. And it's been very difficult to ground it in a world that works in the complete opposite. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty much what you call a Hayoka empath, if you guys want to look up that term. So yeah. And uh, so let's, let's go into that about how the soul feels. And this is where the mirrored effect comes in. Okay. If for those of you who are parents, all right, and you saw your baby and held your baby for the first time, or the purity that you felt of a, you know, a little puppy. I always use that. I'm sorry for the plane if you hear that. <laughs> you don't have to think about that love. You don't have to think about a past event, right? You know, when you're grieving from a relationship, you're grieving, <clears throat> you're letting go because you have thoughts consistently about what you guys have done together, what the past was like, what the past love was like. And it attaches to a belief system and a brain um, belief system and emotional chemical response. That's not true. That's all ego. That means that love was, you know, not that it wasn't real, but what you're doing in that moment is that it's the, it's the mind patterns playing suit in your life, right? But when you look at, you know, when you're in nature or you're looking up at the stars or you have a little puppy that comes and jumps in your lap you know it just brings such an immense amount of joy and pure love that 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 energy seeps up through your gut and into your heart it is the activity of energy in the lower chakras you know that rise up into the heart and i want you guys to just you know think of those memories of when you felt for instance that type of purity because you can recall those energies, but you're going to notice that the energy and those feelings do not start in the mind, right? They're starting from a deeper place, from deep within that falls down into your gut. And when you start operating in that fashion, that is how God speaks to you from the essence of your gut instincts, right? From the pelvic floor. This is the way and how energy in the Kundalini rises up and brings up those subconscious patterns into the mind, okay? You get everything from the gut, from the subconscious. Everything starts to rise up and 
it will then activate parts of the brain that will gain access to the pineal gland and use the reference library of the mind in the form of images to help the brain understand the intuitive hits that you are getting from deep within. And that is how God talks to you. And that is where I take my clients, okay? And that is why I work with plant medicine, because there's only so much that humans can lead other humans. I believe, you know, Terrence McKenna said, you know, the mushroom said to him, you know, why do you have humans leading humans? You know, that's like the the blind leading the blind. Why don't you go to another source of consciousness, which are the plants? This is why I go to the plants, because the plants have a knowledge that that, because they have been here before us much more than what we know. And this is why I'm a medicine woman. So let's get into the twin flame mirror now, because the twin flame mirror comes from those deep regions and places from your gut knowing, from your subconscious patterns. Now, when I say that twins mirror exactly, yes, they mirror exactly in one. Spirit is saying in how they're siphoned by darker forces, okay? So if your twin's being siphoned by darker forces, by karmic energy that they have not resolved, you are also being siphoned in that same way, energetically from the subconscious. Now, it is not going to be in the same way in how it is expressed in the physical world. So I don't agree with this aspect of, you know, if your twin is in a karmic situation, like, you know, we can rationalize this twin flame journey journey and make it a very detailed, like, okay, my twin is addicted to drugs. So that must be like, am I addicted to drugs? Where am I addicted? That's not necessarily true. That's not how the mirror works. It's not a logical representation of an exact mirror. It is a deep energy feeling of where the mirror is. So you have to go into addiction. If my twin is addicted, is an addict, let's use that as an example. If my twin is a drug addict or a alcoholic, there's deeper patterns, obviously, that are playing into the subconscious of your person in order to express it in the form of addiction. It is not the addiction itself that mirrors. It is the underlying subconscious patterns of unhealed trauma or unhealed wounding, right? And we know that in a certain extent, but how the mirror is is coming out in the expression is what confuses people. And so when I work with my clients in regards to looking at that mirror, I'm able to see the subconscious patterns. For instance, I'm going to use an example. I'm not going to mention names, but this was an example of a recent uh, client that I had where it was an aspect of maturing and independence, And one twin has to mature in an aspect of independence. And it was uh, looking in a certain way where the physical world was in complete havoc, where they had to learn how to take responsibility for themselves. And in the other twin, it had to show in taking responsibility for healing family patterns, because they were unable to claim their independence away from family. So you see, it's not an exact mirror in the sense of, you know, exact mirroring one person needs to get a job and the other person has to leave a family dynamic but the underlying energy of independence and loving self and working on those aspects is the direct mirror and that's how it's going to be for twin flames if the mirror like that is completely exact now the more that you heal your own your own traumas, your own issues, and you get deeper into the subconscious and learning how to work from the inside out, right? Because everything is from the inside out with twin flames. You cannot attach to the outside world. You cannot attach to mind patterns. You have to get really out of the head, okay? You can't look at the 3D world in an aspect of attachment, or you can't look at even the teachings out there in regards to psychology, and in regards to how the mind works. Yes, those things are helpful tips, but that's just the starting ground, okay? You got to get so deep within your energy system, into those feelings, into honoring the sensitivity that you have and allowing all of those energies. Because what happens with twins is it creates an activation. The mirror effect of the two twins coming together creates such a profound activation that it's going to bring up all energies and that subconscious energy that rises, right? Because this is from eons and eons and eons ago as well. Karmic cycles that you haven't completed, people that you haven't healed with yet, 
all of these different aspects start to like rise up out of you. It's a mix match of energy of dark, light, all of it. And that sorting out of energy is how you ground in the 3D world because God brings in that high light to drudge up all of those subconscious patterns. Both of you are mirroring exactly. And this is why twins run, they go into separation. It's because the triggers those subconscious subconscious patterns in both twins that haven't been able to claim their power knowing who they are as a soul and detaching from human rationale that's really what it is it's detaching from human rationale because the ego and the mind cannot understand this and when you talk to other people about your twin or if you're in a relationship and you're telling your person like yes i love you but this is my twin flame like human rational doesn't understand that they're like oh this person's psychotic like he says he loves me or she says that she loves me but how can she love me if they if they're in love with this other person you know it's because with karmic energy you love with the chemical response right of what we've been conditioned in and the twin flame journey transcends all of that into god and so when you start clearing the drudginess and the yuckiness and all of that stuff that's coming up in the dark energies in the subconscious, that is when you will find the light codes. That's when you will find the profound enlightenment, right, out of that darkness. And all of that darkness that comes up, I see with my Twin Flame clients, it's, you know, anger, betrayal, uh, the inability to forgive, uh, the the hatred towards the karmic energies, all of that. And those things are okay and justified to be expressed in that moment of time because it needs to purge and come out of the body, right? But when we don't cling to that, because remember, whatever comes up in the subconscious, the mind likes to take that energy as it rises up out of your body, right? So say you hate your car, this karmic person that your, your twin is with and you just hate them and they're doing evil things and all of these different things, right? Because I get a lot of that with people too at third party. This is why I say, if you listen to my readings, take it with a grain of salt, guys, because it is to drudge up dark. We have to drudge up darkness because that's how you find the light. You can't transcend the darkness without the light. And the dark is there to show you where you're still unhealed. It's, it's, it's pointing right in the direction. You're still holding hate in your heart. You're still holding anger. You're still holding resentment. And this is for any human, right? This is, but in the twin flame journey, it can be that much more profound because of the high divinity of what this connection really is, right? So when it is such a high divinity, you're going to get that dark evil shit too, right? So it's hard to balance because you have to learn how to forgive that. You have to learn how to love in such darkness and to forgive karmic energies because remember your karmic the karmic energies and you and your twin all have a connection there are the same things that are coming up to activate your highest place of love lo of love gratitude forgiveness that's really what it is and to become stable in the light to temper the dark the dark is never going to go away i i i mean it I believe we're getting there, but we are at a place of human transition in the mass consciousness. And so all these people are like, I can like just live in love and light and the dark will go away. Turn on the light and the dark goes away. Yeah, the dark goes away, but it comes back, people. Like, do you notice that? It comes back. And the reason why it comes back is because it's there to keep you on track in your own balance of how you know how to use that contrast. And that internal balance is dark and light, masculine and feminine energies, okay? There's two sides to every coin. And so you're going to get pulled into the dark. Then you're going to get pulled into the light. Then you're going to get pulled back into the dark. And this push and pull is not necessarily, it's not related to your twin flame in the 3D. It's related to the deep mirroring of the subconscious patterns that you're both going through. And so if you're, when you're experiencing that spirit is saying, you've got to go deep into the subconscious patterns. Okay. You have to accept these, these deep subconscious patterns. You have to purge out of the hatred and the anger and all of those things. You have to come into a surrendered state. Darkness is always to bring us humble to our knees to seek God. That's all darkness is there for to humble your ego 
to the divinity of God in prayer in humbleness in gratitude it is not for us to control the darkness and to move into a mindset of right or wrong like no this is right no this is wrong they shouldn't have done this to me that's still human rationale guys we are not human beings right so forget that you're a human being that's not who you are you have to let go of that identity and um i I know this because I've had clients who have had a really difficult time um, that their entire world is falling apart and they don't know who they are anymore. And I know it's a really difficult place to be in, but I also love that they're in that place only because I know that their soul is coming in. Their true soul calling is coming in. Who they are is coming in. And it breaks apart every identification that they've created in the 3D world. Their job changes, their life changes, their home changes, their location changes, their relationships change. That's massive awakening that some a lot of twins go into in, before they come into union as well. It has to be that way. Because this is a higher level connection that anything that you have created out of the egoic mind <clears throat> was only there to prep you for such a divine connection, right? And a lot of people who are not on this journey are going to look at that as like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Like people looked at me like I was crazy. Rena, you're a single mom with two kids. Why are you leaving a six figure government job? Why are you leaving that? You know? Yeah, to follow God. <laughs> I knew my twin. I knew I knew about my twin. I've known about my twin's name since I was like eight years old. You know, I know I've known of his name. I've been searching for him, you know, for a, a very long time. This has been a journey of mine of my entire incarnation. So, um, yeah, to bring these teachings to you guys. So that mirror effect, guys. Spirit says we're gonna we're gonna get into this a little bit deeper now and just wrap it up a bit. The telepathy aspect spirit wants to bring up in regards to that mirrored effect of the subconscious pattern. So yes, you're healing, you're healing, healing. And this is where I'm seeing a lot of people in the collective right now in the Twin Flame journey. It's the healing, it's the healing, it's the healing. It's the purging, it's the letting go. It's the forgiveness, it's to come into gratitude. Then we move into the light of that, uh, from what that darkness has brought and the new awareness and then more peace. Because remember, God is peace. So if anything that takes away from your internal peace and it's a grounded peace, it's a peace that you know that you're good in your skin, you're good with the earth, it's like you feel natural, you feel who clear, you know, you feel good and grounded. Remember, anything else of those other lower frequencies are not who you are. It is an attachment or a dark force or something from your lineage that is coming in through the energy highways through your subconscious that are trying to pull you into a darker place. And the darkness is coming in to show you how to elevate out of it, right? So we can't get attached to the depression to the anxiety, to all of these other things and say, well, that's just how I am. That's how I was, you know, my brain is, that's, you know, it's a chemical imbalance. No, I've healed all of those things. You can heal all of those things. Okay. Darker forces and lower vibrations that take you out of unconditional love and peace is a siphoning of the psychological mind to keep you trapped in the ego. That's really what it is. Because darker forces work with psychological implants through the subconscious patterns that come up through your DNA lineage from eons ago that haven't been healed, right? So when you're in your twin flame journey and the mirroring effect, when you feel like crap and you're feeling like say really good one minute and then all of a sudden you're feeling like crap, remember you have to go deep and you have to stop in the energy for a bit. You can't think about it. A lot of us want to jump and be like, Oh, no, no, I'm going to judge it. And now I feel like shit. He must be like in a shit place or whatever. Mm -mm. We aren't meant to run away from that either. We need that's a trigger for our higher knowing as a red flag to say, wait a minute, something's going on in the energy with me and my twin. Let's take a breather. Let's go inside. Let's talk to them. You have a right to talk to your twin on the inside. You are a mirrored soul. You are your masculine. Your masculine is your feminine. Like who you are on the inside in your masculine energy is is the piece of your person inside of you okay the feminine within you is a piece of your feminine that's in another body and you have a right to talk to them on the inside that that's it's you so it, when those triggers come up and the and the dark energies come up and you're feeling it spirit is asking you go deeper pr bring prayer into into that moment 
go deep fall down into the pelvic floor do not stay in the mind and heart regions go down deep 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 into the pelvic floor and speak to your counterpart and be like baby what is going on in here and you want to drop down and this is for men for divine masculines you want to drop into your testicles okay like that's your creator force energy okay and and i know that <laughs> sorry guys i had to say it okay but that's where the seeds are right the sperm that's what creates everything on our planet you got to fall into your balls right that I, i've worked with masculines where it's like there's a tingling aspect that happens when you know that's where their intuition sits but it's been siphoned sexually by darker forces okay to play into perversions right but when you fall into that divine masculine you're getting intuitive hits to allow the energy to rise up to give you your psychic visions okay feminines you drop deep into the womb okay deep into those sacral places the womb of your of your womb down into your ovaries down into your pelvic floor and you allow that energy to rise up okay and you speak to your person in those places you have to and you will feel a solid grounding inside your gut feeling and not everyone can feel that right away that means that you have more healing to do to access that mirrored effect okay but the more that you purge and the more that you allow and the more that you bring in that creator energy to get the complete opposite of the dark contrast into your highest space, your, your telepathy with your twin will pick up because it will drop you deep down into those pelvic regions into communication where you will speak to them in the gut, in those regions. You will speak to them and you will hear something rise up into your mind. You will hear their voice rise up into your knowing okay anything else that works with the higher chakras is not god source everything that comes from god is from that deep knowing okay that's where your authenticity sits that's how you know yourself and that's how you start to get to know yourself as a soul and so when you're mirroring with your twin <clears throat> that's how you start to work with this energy in healing yourself <clears throat> sorry guys my throat is I didn't bring my water bottle with me, so I'm having coffee. <laughs> yeah, and so dropping into those places deep within yourself and purging and allowing and doing that back and forth dance with yourself is part of accepting that this is what this path is until you become so authentically knowing in yourself as a soul, not as a human being, but as a soul. It's very important, okay? Um, just give me a sec. I have to pause this video. Sorry, guys. I had to pause that. I was running out of room. So, yeah, the spirit is bringing back, you know, in regards to knowing that deep place within yourself as a soul and identifying yourself as a soul. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm hearing from spirit. Where did you come from? Cotton Adjo. <laughs> um, because anything that you've had in this human experience is not yourself, right? Those are the chemical responses. And so spirit is really saying on this twin flame journey to know that mirrored effect is going to take a deeper dive into knowing yourself, into purging, into allowing yourself to know the darker energies as fuel. And this is why I say your dark is illuminates your light. You can't have one without the other where we are currently at in the human evolution process of consciousness on the planet right now. Not to say down the road, I don't know, in another timeline or, you know, that there can be complete peace like the Garden of Eden that we have heard about in many traditions and many cultures and religious and spiritual texts in regards to that harmonious union of purity on the planet i believe that that is a definitely a possibility that we're working towards but we have to go through massive purification as a consciousness to make sure that everybody hits a certain place of divinity within themselves of knowing themselves as a soul over the human plight and conditioning that we are currently in a transformational process about in regards to so yeah there's this twin flame journey here that is trying to really show you that mirrored effect from the inside that nobody else is going to understand right it's very similar to like when i try to explain ayahuasca in an ayahuasca ceremony to somebody it's like that you can talk about the visions and all of that but they're never going to understand the depth of purging that you can get to 
because it brings up so many deep subconscious patterns to heal and to let go of. And, you know, the deeper that you go into those places, you know, you are going to see dark energies. And the more psychic and sensitive you are, the more the darker forces have been around in your lineage, especially if you're sensitive. It's it's just a thing because dark forces love twin flame energy. They love healers. They love psychics. They love empaths because your light is of a different frequency. And so especially if you're on a twin flame journey, your light is like, you know, caviar, you know, it's like the mm of the, you know, del delicacy to dark energies, you know, and the deeper you go, the, the harder it can be. This is why I'm saying, you know, if you're going to be, uh, you know, really healing and being on your journey, this is going to take a full upheaval of everything that you that you've known. And people that come to me, you know, yeah, I know sometimes it's hard to hear it. I have to hold a very strong stance in helping them guide and know themselves as a soul over to what they know themselves as a human being. And it's not that you lose part of your human sense of self because you and your twin mirror a lot of your human likes. Okay, so spirit wants me to bring that up too. You know, you're going to enjoy the same things physically that speak to your soul deeply inside. So for instance, me and my twin, we love guitar, the music, you know, um, when we would talk, we, <laughs> we realize the uncanny synchronicities and even the way that we express ourselves to each other or how we hold back or how we're kind of mysterious with each other or, you know, um, foods that we like and the, like all of that stuff. Okay. The music and the, I can't even like the, the books and the philosophy, all of those different things. We have exact same likes because it speaks to our soul. So anything that speaks to you deeply inside of your subconscious that feeds your soul, you're going to have the same thing as your twin. And that's why they get along. That's why twins come together when this purging happens so that that mirror can be a clear ref reflection. So spirit is bringing up, you know, take it a look at it this way. As you're moving along in your soul journey, you are healing your own broken mirror. Your, your mirror for yourself and how you see yourself when you look in the mirror has been completely shattered based on, you know, the traumas of this world, the darkness of this world, the karma that you've brought through to heal and work through from other lifetimes, whatever, the soul contracts, the karmic family that you came into to, to transcend out of. Because twins don't pick soulmate families, okay? We don't pick families that are easy and it's like oh everyone accepts me and loves me no you have to fight for your identity here on the planet okay if you're on a twin flame journey you have to fight for your light in this journey okay and so as you're moving along in your journey you have a broken mirror and as you're walking around in your journey and you heal and you heal and you learn more about yourself you get another piece of that mirror it mends a piece of that crack and then it comes to the point when you're actually able to meet your twin flame in the 3D and have an activation. That because at a certain point, most of the cracks are gone. Not all the cracks are gone, but both of you have enough pieces of your own mirror put together so that when you come into union, when you see each other, you can see yourself as a, as a reflection, an exact reflection. Now, there are still some broken pieces there, but it's it's... It's not enough that you can't make out the image of who the other person is to you. And then the twins go back into separation to heal the last of those splintered pieces. Now, this is where it gets confusing because usually twins separate and then they go into a karmic relationship for some. Mostly the masculines do. And that's because it's harder for the masculines. They've been siphoned really in regards to the sexuality and the seduction piece by darker forces, which listen to my dark works. Okay, because I get into that and I'm going to be doing another episode soon with that as well. But what happens there is that they have to heal the rest of that, those crack pieces and whatever they get into that karmic energy, right? Because they have come to a certain place of healing, it can mimic a twin flame because that person will, thank you, spirit, um, be able to mimic their clear mirror that they're giving to the karmic. Okay, the karmic mimics, they're a chameleon, they mimic, they're siphoned, and they're able to be a chameleon. That's how they survived in their life, most karmic energies, okay? 
they are a level of frequency that I see karmic energies in the twin flame journey are of a lower frequency because of the massive amount of karma that they haven't been able to heal in other lifetimes. Okay. And it has to be this, this way to transcend your twin, to heal those final broken pieces in their own mirrored soul, in their own self, in their own reflection. And as you do that, they will do that. And as they do that, you will do that. Things in the subconscious, because that's where you meet your twin, is deep in the, in the subconscious mirroring effect. So when you heal, again, as we talked about in this channel teaching, they will heal that subconscious pattern until it's clear that you're meeting each other and there's peace and there's a grounded effect that's happening. And that happens with your person, with their karmic purse, with their karmic energy, is that they are gaining and it, it becomes a, a bit of a long journey for some of them because, you know, the mirror is not fully shattered, right? They've healed to a certain extent. You wouldn't be able to come into twin flame activation if there hadn't been some type of healing. Okay. And so when they're with this karmic person, they have to find those little fine tuned cracks in order to fully heal that. And when they do that, that is when the divine masculine, they hold the divine timing. I truly believe that it's the masculine energy that holds the divine timing because they are the ones that rule the 3D world. Divine feminines bring, divine feminines bring in the higher realms to ground, right? And to transcend the subconscious up into the light. We hold that channel of pillar of light. Not that the masculines don't have that. They have that as well, but they are able to take and come into their divine feminine, merge with their divine feminine and take that and build in the 3D. They hold the key of divine timing. That is when creator, that's how creator manages how things create on the planet. And the mother earth, which is mother nature, is receptive to that creative force. She holds the womb to create. She holds the soil. She holds all of that potential that the creator can come and plant seeds and create the landscape, right? It's a beautiful union, right? And that's where the divine masculines they will come when it's meant to be. And feminists have to learn how to surrender to that because <laughs> this is the hard part. And I'm going to get into this in another teaching um, because this has been coming up a lot that feminines, the distorted feminine on the planet is so strong because di distorted feminine energy are overly controlling and manipulative. They really are. And I need to do a talk about this. And that's why Divine Masculines also hold the Divine Timing, because Divine Feminine energy is always open, always receptive, has discernment of knowing what's good and right to come into their pure energy, because she holds her temple and her energy very pure. She doesn't just let anybody come in there. And if she does, you know, and something bad happens or some karmic energy comes in, it's just, again, another teaching to show them no, I got to keep this pure. That can't, that er can't play in that energy. So it's a redefining process for the feminine energy to be in her magic, to be cultivating her gifts, her alchemy gifts, right? Divine feminine births new creation all the time, how to get on mission, right? And to start the energies moving to bring in that high vibration. That That's why we say get on mission, divine feminines. And do the healing work. And it's not that it's just divine feminists that are leading the way for the divine masculine, right? That That is true. But it's about how much are you grounding of that divinity, of that love into the 3D to allow it to transform yourself in your life. And when that starts happening, that that subconscious pattern, because remember, divine feminists can go really deep in that intuitive place. That mirroring effect will happen in the subconscious pattern because you're healing the subconscious. It will then activate your masculine into healing their subconscious. So, yeah. So I wanted to bring that forward. I feel that's everything. I don't feel there's um, anything else in regards to the mirrored effect. But the, okay, so spirit's bringing through. Yeah, and then when you are healed and you're grounded and you're at peace with your twin, you know, there's instances they want to bring up, you know, I can feel my twin when there's like a really dark thing, dark stuff happening. You know, I, for instance, the other morning I woke up, I felt like this anxiety and I talked to him and I'm like, you know, before I would run from it, be like, oh, this is so annoying. And I get that, you know, but it, it keeps coming back. So that it forces us to go within the mirror, to go within the subconscious, to go within and talk. 
and to bring safety into the, those subconscious places, to bring light into those subconscious places. And that's the safety that twins build with themselves within. That's why a karmic energy can never be. And we can't look at the karmic energies that way because the safety within the gut and the pelvic floor that you build with your twin, because it's the same soul, that knowing, that knowing and that place that you can talk to them deeply within creates a beautiful place of safety and love and security that no one but you and God and your twin can be in. And so when you feel those things, it's like, it's not giving to them, it's giving to yourself. It's going within to the energy and being like, okay, there's the subconscious mirror that we share. Remember, the deeper that you go inside of yourself, that point where you meet your tw yourself and the depths of where you meet yourself is the same place that you meet your twin. So when you speak to yourself in the depths of the core of who you are as a soul is when you talk to your twin. So when you give to yourself, to the depths of, of, of who you are as a soul is when you give to your twin. You don't have to consciously give to your twin, send energy to your twin. Do, no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of that. Okay. You don't have to do anything that you wouldn't do for yourself. When you pray for yourself, you pray for your twin. You pray to God, you praying for your twin. When you, when you do the work for yourself, you're doing it for your twin. When you do mission work, you're doing it for your twin. All of those things. It's a, it's really beautifully guided. The mirror is so exact. And this is the moving into living from the inside out. Because your 3D world, your twins are so powerful. Your 3D world will manifest just like that. You know, it's come to the point where I'm like, okay, God, I want to make this much amount of money this week, or I want to book this client, or I want to, you know, move into, um, you know, experience this or on a travel here, it always happens. Something happens. And I'm going to say that that is the end. We just had a blackout. All the electricity went out. So <laughs> spirit is saying that's a wrap. So yeah. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that. That uh, that's the mirrored effect. I hope it brought a lot of insights. I would love to hear your comments on this. Uh, oh, the electricity just came back on. <laughs> Um, don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm doing a sweepstake soon. So make sure that you subscribe and I'll link that video is down below that you can see about how to enter. If you want to work with me, all that info is down below. And yeah, I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.